Go. Welcome Capricorn, I'm Dedici from astrology.com.au, good to be with you again. This is your forecast for May, this month, the last part of the month, and June. I'm going to combine the two together. The main highlight that I see here for you, especially from the 16th till the 20th, is the movement of Saturn away from your professional sector. That's excellent news, even though it's uh, your ruling planet. It shows me that there's an easing up of the responsibilities that you've been feeling through this period of your life. And uh, you'll be, I suppose, more leisurely towards your uh, deadlines, and that really uh, decompresses some of the uh, <coughs> problems that you've had there. Now, for your romance and friendship, between the 14th and the 20th, if you try to make too much of an impression, it could backfire. It could start to appear a little fake and insincere. So just be yourself. Don't push it too hard. You make a sufficient impression just by being yourself. Fitness program is required for you between the 21st and the 25th. Now that you're a little more leisurely, you'll probably have time to get your physical health back in order. And spiritual inclinations are indicated for you between the 26th and 30th. And I know you're saying, well, I'm a Capricorn, but actually some Capricorns are pretty spiritual. You should avail yourself of those energies just now. Uh, on the uh, work front, we've touched on that in the overview of Saturn moving away from your uh, career sector. But uh, creating new partnerships between the 17th and the 20th <coughs> mustn't be done on a handshake. You really, really need to nut out all the uh, ins and outs of that and look at the fine print and get someone to commit in writing. Avoid unexpected surprises, especially with respect to your banking and mortgage issues. Uh, you need to take a more hands-on approach. Schedule a meeting with your bank manager between the 30th and the 31st to iron out any misconceptions or misunderstandings. Moving to June, <coughs> there's a desire to move ahead, go it alone, or to reinforce your independence at this time. My producer's laughing, I don't know why. But uh, especially after the 4th, there's a lot more optimism. And that's shown by the position of the moon associating with Jupiter around the 6th. And around that time, up to and including the 8th, this could rub people the wrong way. You know, sometimes people don't want you to change. They don't want you to be anything other than they've known you uh, as you are. So that will really unsettle them. But don't be afraid of that. Yeah, you know, life is a process of change and uh, self-development. From the 9th to the 13th, spontaneity will be your valuable asset. <laughs> Sexuality and playful interactions with someone you love on the 14th and 15th really bring back the joy in your life at this time. And uh, if you're not in a relationship, there's a potential for one just now. Differences in philosophical or religious views between the 17th and 19th indicate that you should look more towards the similarities rather than the differences in your relationships. Uh, you'll be feeling a little flat on the 19th because of some inhibited desire, but um, after the 25th, uh, lots of good things in store for you. After the 26th, uh, some unexpected truths between you and your most significant other will surface. <coughs> Excuse me. Work and finance throughout June, uh, between the 1st and the 6th. Uh, rely on your own assessments, is what I say. If you're relying on other people, you're going to be disappointed. You can gain leverage over others by using your power, uh, but don't misuse that power, especially between the 7th and the 11th. Maintain the support of those around you by being gentle with them and uh, reciprocating on all levels. And finally, a wolf in sheep's clothing may pass you away around the 24th or 25th. Be mindful of those who are only out to use you for what's uh, on offer by you. A lunar eclipse on the 26th reveals much about others and could in its own way help you sidestep uh, some sort of unsavoury character, Capricorn. It's been great talking to you again. For more information, join me, Dedici, at www.astrology.com.au. Freebies daily readings, reports, and lots of other esoterica. Take care, I'll see you next month.